We are going to take an image we find off of the internet, or one that we have, and convert it into lines so that we can v-carve it in Aspire. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up a browser or somewhere where you can find a picture. And I'm going to go to Google to look for an image. I'm going to look for a cow image. Now, I know coloring books have really good contrasting pictures. They're black and white. So I'm going to type cow coloring book and then go to images and let's find a cow picture. I like this one here. I'll click on it and then I can right mouse click save image as and then save this on the desktop or wherever I can find it. Save that. I'm going to replace it. I've saved this before. Same image so we'll close that. And now in Aspire we're going to create a new file and I'm going to leave this to the default 10 by 10. There we go. Now I'm going to bring an image in and to do that I can go File, Import, Import Bitmap, and then I can find the image wherever I happen to save it, whether it's on your jump drive or on the desktop. So I'll click on this bottom image here and there it is. Now right now you can click on it and then click on it again to adjust the size you want to make this. Oh, We'll make it so it fits in there somehow. That looks to be maybe one, two, three, four, maybe five inches by five inches or so. So it's just in the middle and you can put it on the plaque or v-carve or whatever you're drawing. So next I'm going to convert it to lines. So I will click on the image then come over here and there's a little picture that looks like a bird outline. It says fit vectors to bitmap. That's the one we want. Click on that. We have a choice between color and black and white. Since this is a very nice black and white image, I'm going to leave it as black and white. And you can adjust the threshold. It's kind of hard to see on this one. You can see it gets a little thicker. Good black and white drawings don't really have much of a problem with this. Um, if you have a lot of gray in here, this is where you adjust to get the max detail. Then I say fit vectors. And then I can come over here and click on the image and delete it if I want to delete it. And I can see all of the little vectors or lines that it drew. I'll hit close here. Now this is important. If you do not close the trace bitmap, you can select stuff and try to do things but it doesn't do anything because you're still in a function. So you need to make sure to close that. I don't think I like these little pieces in the eye here, so I'm going to go ahead and delete those. Then I'm going to v-carve this. So I'll select everything, go to tool paths, Oops, lock that up there, pin it up. I'm going to unpin the drawing so that this image can be a little bigger for us. And then I'm going to come over here to v-carve and here I want to select the max depth I'm going to go because there's some big areas this could go pretty deep I'm saying the max depth is at point two this can be your choice so now let's go select the tool and we'll use the one we have in the shop the 90 degree one and a quarter v-carve so the diameters there the angle the depth if you're doing something quite deep you want to do multiple depths here okay but we're going point two so I'm going to just leave that alone the step over is how far it steps in between so if it's passing back and forth if you make that really big you're gonna have like rough grooves in a flat area I want it kinda smooth so I'm leaving it at 0.05 we can make it make it smoother going smaller it just takes longer we'll set our feed rates and plunge rates 60 and 30 is good Depending on the wood, you can speed that up or slow it down. Hardwood, you need to go slower. So let's hit OK. Everything else looks pretty good here, so let's change our name. I'm going to put cow v-carve and hit calculate. All right, so you can see how it's falling down in between the lines. And then when there's bigger pockets, it does that 0.05 step over. So let's preview that. And there we go. Now, I'm not liking quite how deep these are. 
So let's double click on that and maybe make it point 0.1 instead of point 0.2. Calculate. Reset the preview. Calculate. Preview that again. I think that looks a little better. So there's our image. We can save our toolpath and whatever we want, but that's how to convert line or a picture into lines or vectors in Aspire.